Man, for those of y'all haven't, <laughs> for those of y'all who haven't heard the song, y'all gotta be tripping, man. I know that um, Chase did hella pr- promotion on this. I also did hella promotion on this, and we went hard on the song. Matter of fact, matter of fact, hold on. I am pretty sure. This computer. Man. Trying to make a point, I'm just wasting time instead. I'm pretty sure I have a track with Trish actually. Man, I really hope it doesn't show any unreleased videos I have because I'll be very unfortunate. Um, 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 where is it? 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 Boom. Six months ago was when the song was made. And the mic Anyways, um, so yeah, this song, this song's made a while ago. But yeah, for those of y'all don't know, um, I'm gonna just explain the, the story again. You know, Trish talked about it on her live. We talked about it a couple times, but I'm gonna say the story again of how this song was made. So Trish made a song. She recorded it and everything, sends it to me because she wanted me to mix it. Um, so, actually, no, 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 no. She sent it to the TNG group chat for... Eh, 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 eh. She sent it to the TNG group chat so that we can give her her opinion, or her, our opinions on it. And the song was still raw. So, she sends it. And when she sent it, it was like at 8 p.m. And if y'all know me, Bobby sleeping early as hell. So, by that time, I was already asleep because I had to work in the morning. And I get up the next morning at like 6 a.m. And I'm not checking my phone at 6 a.m. Like, I got to get ready for work. So, it's like 4 in the afternoon the next day and she sends a message back she's like wow so y'all not gonna listen because nobody had replied and i'm like oh snap my bad my bad yo let me um let me go listen to the song so i listened to it and i was like yo this is dope and i was like yo trish send me this right now i'm gonna mix it so when she sent it what i ended up doing was like i thought the song was so dope i wanted to put a verse on it so as soon as i heard the uh, part i just like repeated it I multiplied it, I duplicated it, and then I just added my part on top, and that's basically how this song came to be. So, fun fact, I was never supposed to be on this song. I was never supposed to have a verse. I was none of that. It was supposed to be a single or a solo, and then I just I forced my way in. Assuming y'all already know, but I, I I like this song. So if y'all don't pick up the drift, you know what I'm saying. I I do like this song. Um, I'm not gonna speak as much in this one because it's like I think I said it already. What Trish? What before he falls asleep? I, I'm innocent. I'm I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. So I, I listen. I wrote this song like blind. Like I didn't even know what I was writing about. So let me let me just say that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a child of God. So I don't know what this song is even about. I don't know if y'all can see how ash I am right now, but God. No way, your touch is a blessing. Yearning so deep, got me missing affection. Let's work it out so we stop disconnecting. Light on my mind and my body confessing, yeah. Need you to stop to hold me. Need you to rub the bone me. I need you. 
I will say, of all the singers that I've heard, even like the ones, that, uh, okay, maybe I'm about to start capping. Um, let's just say locally, I think Trish has a has the talent of just her background, like her her the way she's able to build an atmosphere, the way she's able to just like add on to the beat and make it more full, more thick. You know what I'm saying? Um, she just I don't know how to describe what I'm trying to say, but she just fills the the space, the gap. You know, all those background vocals, it just makes it feel a lot richer. You know what I'm saying? It makes it feel like a choir. Um, you know, that's dope. I really like that. Again, just a reminder, I'm a Christian, I don't know what's going on. Before you sleep, give me love, show me love, give me love, ask me sin. Cuddle up, need a little more of that love and love. Baby, be, please be for you fall asleep now. Baby, be, please be for you fall asleep now. Now, if I remember correctly, after this part, either the hook comes back and it ends or it just ends. So the song originally like this was like where it was like, just like it's over, basically. And then I was like, nah, nigga. If y'all ever heard Hot by Gunna, the way that Travis Scott comes in, that's kind of what I tried to imitate here, but like R&B version, so let's live. Again, I have no recollection of that verse being written, recorded. Not that that wasn't even me, to be honest. It really was. I must have been possessed or something. Show me love. This is probably the favorite, my favorite part in the song. When I go, Bay, and she goes, Bay, it's like a call and answer. Probably my favorite part. Boy. That's Cap, my second favorite part. My favorite part's the very end. saying so y'all already know my opinion on this song this song was very 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 fire matter of fact it was so fire that it was on the radio in toronto you know what i'm saying the country and i have a record right now they both reside from winnipeg oh shit i just took it off Anyways, yeah, man, I was on the radio. Look at the reaction. They just played it. Oh, that girl's goofy. But yeah, man, dope ass song. So shout out to Chase for, for, you know what I'm saying, letting me be a part of this project. It was super, super fun. It was super, super lit, man. And thank you for getting us on the radio in Toronto. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Give me love. 10 out of 10.